All right. Hey guys, welcome back to Sun Crypto. In today's content, uh, we'll talk about uh, BTC. We'll take a look at Ethereum, BNB, Neo, Luna, and uh, you know FTM on a high time frame and what type of uh, price action we could anticipate over the next like a few uh, a few weeks or even like a month going forward. Okay. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, do a sound check before we uh, dive in into the uh, analysis. So if the sound is good just uh, hit the likes okay so i know the sound is good and make sure to uh, uh you know make sure to uh, write 589 so i know the sound is good okay mr Shu in the house thanks a lot for tuning in let's go icx let's pump it hey what's up craig thanks a lot for tuning in craig moon boy now we are 348 uh, btc uh, broke below uh, 35k uh, the 34 35k is you know a very crucial range right so that's why i was saying like do not short bdc around like a 34 35 so you just don't know because it is a uh, it is a macro support we talked about it back in march so let's take a look at the uh, support and resistances first so right here what we said uh, let's take a look at it okay so so right here we talked about like the uh, quarterly uh, support right going to be somewhere around like a uh, 30k right first support and uh, second support going to be the uh, quarterly 21 back then back in march it was right around like a 21k right now it is just about like a 30 uh, you know you know 23k give or take okay so we said resistance plus resistance going to be you know 46 46 to 47 secondary resistance 52 did not even get to 52 got rejected just above uh, you know 48k okay so if you take a look at it the monthly support we talked about the uh, monthly 30k support right and uh, you know monthly 50 ma back then it was right around like 25 now it is at 26k all right so weekly support just about like a 35 34k right now we are 35 to 34k the 3d support just about like a 35 same thing right 35 34 on average just about like you know 31 5 for the support one and support two going to be you know 24k so support one and support two on you know on average right it is still the same thing okay so resistance uh you know resistance one you know got rejected just above like a 46 right uh, right around like a 48 so uh, keep an eye on bdc in terms of like a macro support and all that good stuff because we got a lot of noise so uh, you know if you pay attention to the hourly time frame all the time right you might be uh, you might not basically know what's going on on you know on the higher time frame and all that good stuff and we talk about it back in march okay so i was just going back to uh, review it right so now let's go ahead and take a look at btc uh, uh, on a monthly basis okay so the monthly basis it is breaking below the monthly uh, 21 ema that's the good news for the bears uh if we take a look at our macd we knew the macd was negative so price action above the uh, 20 ma is not a good good sign okay any pump above it whenever your macd crosses negative right price action sometimes uh, can try to uh, push back up above your 21 ema if macd fails to uh, cross bullish that's a bearish pattern and i'm going to show you exactly how we spotted uh luna you know just above like a 95 right we talked about how Luna was, uh, you know, basically making a top formation when Luna was at 95, guys. So, uh, you know, it created some noise between 95, $90 and all that good stuff. But the main thing is like it just hit our midterm target at, you know, 64, right? So secondary target for Luna all the way down to like, a, uh, you know, uh, mid 40s. But we will take a look at Luna in a minute, right? So uh, below the weekly 21 EMA, we know uh, it is not a good sign. Whenever we... Uh, break below the uh, weekly 21 you can see like BTC likes to dump 50 uh, 45 to 50 percent depending on the uh, volatility okay right here we also dump like nearly 48 percent for the uh, you know 48 percent okay and same thing and we we had the same thing right back in 2014 2015 right right here after you know we closed below the uh, weekly uh, 20 monthly 21 
uh, monthly 200 EMA, it dumped like 60% all the way down to the, uh, you know, monthly 50. So talking about the uh, monthly 50, we know that's going to be our next directional, uh, directional target. Okay, monthly 50 slash, right? Quarterly 21, right? So that's going to be our next directional macro support if, uh, you know, if it breaks like a 30K. But 30K is going to be a temporary support. We'll see over the next like a few days if BTC likes to, uh, BTC wants to basically stay at 30K for a few weeks or even month before retesting the uh, quarterly 21 or the uh, monthly uh, uh, 50 uh, uh, EMA, okay? So quarterly 21, right around like 23. So remember, it is a moving average, right? So if BTC dumps, it will basically, uh, you know, uh, move a little bit lower, okay? Meaning like it will dump itself, okay? The, uh, the uh, you know, uh, 21 EMA, because it is a moving average, right? So now let's take a look at BTC in terms of a uh, three weeks time frame, right? So when we take a look at the three weeks time frame, we we talk about like how important it is to pay attention to your uh, uh, your MACD whenever you get a bearish divergence, okay? So as you can see right here, MACD bearish divergence, right? Price action making higher highs, right? MACD making uh, low highs, it is bearish. So what happened most of the time is like price action will dump down to your 21 EMA and it will move sideways. However, your MACD will never cross bullish. And I'm going to show you once again how we spotted, uh, you know, lunar top formation on the 3D. So, and that's how we spotted, uh, you know, BTC on the 3D. That's how we spotted, uh, you know, uh, Ethereum on the 3D at above 4K and all that good stuff. BNB, you name it, all the top coins we spotted the top formation just because of the uh, MACD uh, formation and your 3D time frame. Very easy strategy, guys. That's one of the easiest strategy, right? Uh, you can find out there, okay? And we've been talking about it like since 2017, right? So that's why we were so confident Ether going to drop down like 50%, right? And uh, BTC was going to uh, dump all the way down to like, you know, uh, low 30K, and it did that exactly, right? So a very easy strategy, uh, bearish divergence on your MACD. It doesn't matter what time frame you, uh, you know, whatever time frame you want to use is fine. You just want to see the divergence on your uh, 3D, on your MACD, right? And a uh, price action struggling to uh, stay above the uh, 21 EMA. That's it. That's all you want to see. You don't care about like shorting the, t I mean, selling the top, right? You don't care about like if BTC, if you miss like the top right here, around like 60K, you be like, okay, I'm fine. I can get out at 45, okay? But that's a 3D time frame. We spotted it on, that's a three weeks time frame. We already spotted it on the 3D, okay? So I was just giving you guys an, another example, like you can use it like at any, you know, uh, at any time, okay? Whenever you wanna use it, even down to the six hour time frame, you can use it, okay? So sometimes your six hour time frame can give you, can uh, give you a, a high high, something like that, right? and uh, dump down lower to retest your 21 EMA, but your MACD will cross negative and we'll do something like that, okay? We'll never basically push back up. That's how you know you're going to get at least a retest of your support right here to create a possible double top, double bottom. If the trend is uh, strong enough, you could be looking for higher prices. If the trend is, uh, you know, weak, you could be looking for low prices. But the main thing is like to just spot the uh, top formation. Okay, a very, very, very powerful top formation, guys. So now let's take a look at BTC on the weekly. So weekly basis, uh, we've been talking about the uh, weekly 100 EMA forever, right? BTC broke below the uh, monthly 21, but it did not yet close uh, below the, it didn't close below the uh, weekly 100 EMA, okay? But on a seven days basis, it closed below the uh, weekly 100 EMA. And we know whenever we close below the uh, weekly 100 EMA, uh, you know, it is it is a bad sign. The only time we closed below the uh, weekly 100 EMA right here was back in uh, back in uh, uh, December, right? December 2019, right? And we pumped back up to 10, uh, you know, 10.5 before capitulating 60%, okay? But most of the time breaking up below your uh, weekly, uh, you know, 100 EMA, yeah, you're going to get the, the right move, okay? You're going to get the right move uh, to the downside, all right? So, uh, but we will discuss it. <clears throat> I'm not sure, right, if BTC is going to be able to uh, uh, make another move like that, right? Nearly, you know, 50, 60% move, right? 
below from uh, below the uh, weekly 100 EMA. That's possible. That's possible. But in terms of like a uh, MACD and RSI, we're not seeing any sort of like a uh, uh, signs of uh, a potential of 50 to 60 percent move. Everything is pointing down. So it it will need at least like a few weeks to give us like you know a uh, you know a possible a possible setup right for a uh, you know pushback up right and we talk about it you know we said you know even if we get this move it is still a bearish pattern because it is just nothing it is nothing but a flat correction so it doesn't matter how you look at it uh, the trend for BTC as of now right it is still down right bears are in control and uh, we will see if uh, bulls going to basically shift the momentum especially on the 3d okay so on the 3D, if you take a look at it right here, that's what I tried to explain to you guys right there after BTC broke below the uh, 3D21. Back in December, what we said, that is it. Okay, we we, we we going. Actually, late June. Okay, late, not June. Late November. Okay, we said, let's pack our bags. The trend is down until we get a bullish reversal on the 3D basis, right? <clears throat> that's why we were buying right here and selling right there. Okay, because we knew... Uh, BTC most likely going to be creating some, uh, you know, some sideways correction and all that good stuff. Okay, so on the 3D time frame, uh, it looks bad. It looks bad, right? If you guys remember, uh, if you guys recall, right, what we said right here when BTC was going up, we said the trend is down. However, it is not going to dump, right? As long as MACD is negative. So the you know the opposite is also true right btc will not likely give us a a healthy you know trend reversal as long as the magd is pointing down okay remember i said it clearly btc will not dump okay the trend is bearish but it will, will not dump as long as the 3d magd is pointing up okay now btc most likely will not you know uh, bulls most likely will not get any sort of a uh, strong uptrend right as long as macd is negative so as long as macd is negative every pump going to be a fake out until we get a bullish crossover on our 3d macd i'm not talking about like six hour time frame and all that good stuff but we're talking about like the 3d time frame so the 3d it is one of our uh, you know favorite favorite time time frame right to analyze bdc because it is pretty accurate okay if you can spot the uh, 3d uh, shift in momentum okay so as you can see right here at the same time bang as soon as we cross negative right here what happened the volatility increased and i told you guys uh, if we cross negative the volatility to the downside going to increase that's the same i mean you could basically also do the same thing okay if we cross bullish right uh you know maybe like for a couple of days and all that good stuff it might be dumping 2%, 3%, 5% and all that good stuff, but the trend going to be up, okay, until we cross negative again. So that's why right here, I was saying don't short BTC uh, below, uh, you know, 34, 35K because the uh, 3D MACD, it is still positive. Hopefully it makes sense, okay? So I know some bulls out there still calling for 60K and all that good stuff, but you got to pay attention to your higher time frame, your 3D, your weekly, you know, your monthly right and all that good stuff you got to pay attention it looks good right you might want to be oh man we're about to pump it looks good and all that good stuff but you know closing below your monthly 21 that's just bad okay it is not good at all okay and we, we talk about it right here we said we're not closing below our 3d 21 i mean three weeks 21 right we, we most likely going to go back up even if we're going to get a double top double bottom later on we can still figure out you know uh, you know later on what's you know what will happen and uh, basically uh, stay with the trend okay so that is it we cover btc from uh, the uh, you know quarterly time frame all the way down to the uh, 3d and uh, let's go ahead and move on to ethereum so let's talk about btc in terms of volume first okay before we talk about ether 589 hey what's up jude xrp uh, mr xrp 589 thanks a lot for tuning in man so guys let me know if you are uh, if you're basically following the trend because if you've been following our our analysis at least over the last like let's say 60 days you know you you know you know uh, we've been talking about like the trend being down so it's not like 
you've been basically waiting for BTC to hit like 100k and all that good stuff, okay? We've been saying, hey guys, accumulate, right? You know, monthly 21 EMA, right? If we break it, you got your 30k and after that you got your, uh, you know, 50 EMA. That's, that's a very easy uh, strategy and you're not going to be sweating and all that good stuff, right? Okay, 34.5, we're about to break the uh, 34k, okay? So, uh, so now uh, the, let's take a look at BTC in terms of volume, okay? So when we take a look at the volume, we know we're going to get a, a lot of volume this, this, this quarter, okay? Last, last quarter, we got nearly, you know, 1.5 million, right? And as of now, we only got like half a million. So it, we need like, let's say, 1 million volume for the rest of the quarter, okay? So we got like, let's say, uh, you know, seven weeks, okay? We got about like seven weeks and we need like let's say you know one million volume so that's 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 a lot okay if all that selling volume going to be uh i mean if all that selling volume if all that volume is selling pressure right we could at least you know find some uh, support at i mean not find some support we could at least retest the uh, uh, 30k support right and we just have to be cautious because remember uh, that volume that all that volume might not even be selling pressure it could be half and half right so for instance uh, you know the next 500,000 BTC right not $500,000 but 500,000 uh, selling the 500 the next 500,000 volume could be selling pressure right and the next 500,000 volume after that could be buying pressure to push push back the push back up the price that's also possible okay so just because we're saying the volume going to be a lot we cannot just say hey the entire volume will be selling pressure okay because remember uh, in terms of volume right uh trading view or whatever and whatever you know uh software you're using just going to give you like the uh, total net volume is it does it doesn't basically tell you hey you sold like let's say one million volume and then uh you know uh, you know you bought like 1 million volume whatever okay you see what i'm saying it's just it's just going to give you like the total volume okay so what what's makes the what's what's making the difference in terms of the uh, color is like if price action close below the uh, open right your volume going to be red it doesn't matter how many people bought okay even if one person bought you know right uh, below the uh, you know uh, you know it doesn't matter if even like one person right uh, bought the dip right uh, below the uh, below the open right and price action closed below the open your candle going to be red okay so that's the only thing that matters okay so now we talk about the volume so now let's go ahead and take a look at ether so e ether is about to hit the monthly 21 so craig be ready we talk about the monthly 21 in our premium we said if we hit the monthly 21, you, you know, bulls got us, bears got to suck it up and uh, close some, uh, you know, some profits right at, you know, 25.50. It could dump lower, but all we're saying is like, uh, you know, it, it could basically create some noise, right? And basically try to bounce back up like 5, 10%. And that's going to give give bears, right? More opportunities to uh, basically add back to the uh, position and all that good stuff. So either, you know, on a higher time frame, keep an eye on the, uh, take profit range at 21 at the monthly 21 so if it bounces back up to uh, you know let's say 20 to 26 50 27 50 or even up to 28 that's still going to be a good range to add on for the uh, you know retest of the monthly 21 or even a breakout all the way down to our uh, quarterly support right here 17 uh, 1710 okay yes it is going to uh, i'm just basically sp skipping like the uh, supports right in this range i'm just giving you the uh, directional move all right so now let's take a look at ether in terms of uh, elliott wave right so if if you've been following our channel guys you know our directional move for all these coins right being down most of them okay now i would say like most of the uh, coins we analyzed over the last couple of weeks uh, you know they they dumping like 40 50 percent okay we talk about uh, you know, near BNB, Luna, uh, you know, FTM, they dump like on average like 40%, okay, or even more, okay, like FTM dump like over over 40% alone, right? So you take a look at, B, uh, you know, ETH right here, we got a nice flat correction, right? And as, as, 
as long as we broke out below 3150 in my premium we said exactly guys the eater short is back alive because remember we shorted eater right here 2550 and we said if it breaks above like 2866 uh, you know just let it go okay and don't try to chase it because we know 2850 be between 2850 up to 31 3150 right it is a pivot point so you just don't want to take any risk between a 2850 right up to 3150 so it is not a range you want to be basically let's say if price action is going up and you short it out let's say uh 2850 if it breaks you know 30 3150 right you you want to get out okay so for instance right here as long as we broke out below 3150 we said let's just take it to the downside because we know 3150 is the upper level resistance right and it is most likely going to act as a as a support and if we break it it is likely to uh, dump down to the uh, you know monthly 21 and that's exactly what is it doing okay very easy uh, strategy right you take a look at it on a weekly uh, uh, basis basis right we got our weekly uh, weekly 25 uh, okay so we got our weekly 25 ma basically helped us a lot right when it was right here that's why i was not for moving i knew it was a clean flat correction on top of that you got your weekly uh, uh 25 ma however sometimes you just have to be patient okay uh, wait wait for the market to give you uh, uh to give you a direction for you to basically uh, uh, start looking for the a strong uh, downtrend move okay so you know we got we did have strong evidences like uh, ito you know ito was most likely going to be uh, dumping to the downside but we just needed to wait till it breaks you know uh, breaks below 3150 and uh, to enter the uh, short position right sell position as you can see right here it is a nice clean flat crush okay and we could get a macro flat correction right there okay something like that so which is going to give us a nice wxy will it break the uh, 1700 range possibly we don't know yet right we will just have to wait to see if bulls going to show up right here okay so bears just got to be very cautious right uh shorting like around like a 1700 range the best time to enter it was like after the uh, breakout below 3150 okay so if you've been following our channel long enough we talk about like 3150 20, 2850 for the last 12 months okay we've been talking about uh, you know 3150 2150 okay right there right there okay 31 21 8, 20 2850 right there okay uh, back in uh, you know june uh, uh, may june uh, uh, july we've been talking about like a uh, 21 2850 and all that good stuff okay so now let's go ahead and take a look at ether on a quarterly basis the quarterly time frame i just don't know okay if uh if bears right going to be strong enough this quarter right to uh, close below like a 17 10 and all that good stuff okay so if we the sooner we get down to uh, you know 1700 right the better it is because it means like uh, the rest of the quarter we could even get a short-term pullback to like you know uh, let's say 2250 you know 2550 whatever but i'm just speculating don't want to be making any calls as of now you know just uh, have to wait for the trend to give us a directional move all right so on a quarterly basis at the same time it was extremely bullish after the uh, covid dump we got like nearly two four six eight quarters you know eight straight quarters right of a pump so that was pretty massive okay that was that was big right so most likely uh, you know we will see some uh, heavy uh, you know profit taking and all that good stuff until we get a proper set proper reversal uh, setup i don't know where it are going to be bottoming at right we will take a look at it don't want to say we will bottom a thousand dollar five hundred dollar three hundred dollars like you know the 10k bay is calling we will just wait and see where we're going to uh, get the uh, proper reversal but most of the time either after 85 percent uh, down right if it drops 85 percent right 
if you want to take a look at it in terms of percentage move it is still a good level to be accumulated even you know 75 percent all right 80 percent it is still a good range to be accumulating ether because you're not buying ether for the next like a couple of weeks you buy buying ether for the next like a uh, you know three to five years okay once we get up to like a 17 20 thousand and all that good stuff right but you're not buying ether like uh, you know at let's say two thousand dollars to sell it at 2500 unless you short term trading okay pablo escobar in the house thanks a lot for tuning in pablo pablo you change your name crypto is dumping hey sent 589 what does it mean oh it means xrp going to 589 <laughs> this is for jude moon boy all right so now let's go ahead and move on to a bnb usdt Okay, so for BNB USDT, right? A very easy, a very uh, straightforward analysis, right? For BNB USDT, uh, the reason why the BNB call was so easy is like uh, it follows Ethereum as of now, right? If you take a look at it, the first week of January, right here, that's when I said BNB will dump all the way down to like a you know a 375 to a 340 area. Uh, 0.618 it did that exactly so after the quarterly open right i knew it are going to be uh, dumping to the downside so i was like okay it bnb most likely going to follow it so no need to do any uh, any uh, you know uh, dip analysis for bnb right because we just done one for uh, uh, for it so we could be looking for the uh, next uh, support to start somewhere around like a 240 which is a 0.888 okay right here we're looking we are looking for 0.618 we hit the 0.618 and uh, 0.786 going to be at 275 and 0.888 244 right but we got some weeks right here so we could definitely look could basically look for even 240 or even 220 but on average uh, 240 could be a uh, you know quarterly support even if it does something like that right on average we're just saying 240 going to be a good range to uh, accumulate someone uh, some BNB for the next like a uh, pump to the upside, right? Possibly 40, 50, 60% pump as we had right here. Okay, after we hit 0.618, as you can see, we pump like 35%. Okay, not once, but twice. Okay, so that's like nearly 70% uh, gains, right? On, uh, on BNB, okay? So on the macro view for BNB, uh, one thing we just have to uh, keep in mind is like, if we take a look at it on the macro view uh, during the uh, last two uh, bear markets right bnb drops dropped like uh, you know 83 percent right there back in 2018 83 percent 84 percent back in 2020 so if it is going to repeat the same process we could be looking for like let's say 150 to 100 dollar range could be a good range to uh, accumulate some long-term bnb could it drop lower this time and drop like 90 percent possibly i don't know okay but based on the uh, uh, previous uh, price history uh, you know most of the time these coins they repeat the same process kind of like btc retesting like the uh, monthly 250 EM, the monthly 50 ema since like you know 2014 okay uh, retest bottom at the uh, monthly 50 2018 bottom at the monthly 50 20 uh, 20 bottom at the monthly 50 those type of uh, scenarios okay so bnb if it is to repeat the same process once again 83 percent going to be somewhere around like you know as low as you know uh, 120 dollars okay but most likely wells will be from running the price uh, somewhere around like 200 dollars okay because bnb right now it is just about like uh, 60 billion market cap and we could expect bnb to be somewhere on like a 500 billion you know to a 700 billion next bull market okay remember dogecoin was like nearly 100 billion market cap and we talk about it how the 100 billion uh, range is so critical okay even back in uh, 
back in 2017, ETH, you know, tapped out somewhere around like 120, okay, 120 billion. Uh, same thing as XRP, okay? So very few alt except ETH, right? That pump like nearly 400 billion, if I remember well, right? Uh, basically, uh, pump like above, uh, you know, 100 billion this year. So BNB could not basically stay above 100 billion market cap, okay? So, and we're looking for like, a, you know, 500, 700 billion market cap. So, you know, anything around like, let's say 30, you know, 30 to or 20 billion market cap, it is still going to be a good range to uh, accumulate, all right? Not financial advice, but I'm just giving you my own personal analysis, right? So next one going to be near, near USDT. So let's take a look at near on the 3D time frame, okay? So near, as we said, right, is nowhere near the top. So if you, if you follow our last analysis, okay, when we talk about near, if you guys recall, near was right, right around like $14, okay? So we said, uh, you know, uh, it is likely to break the uh, uh, 3D21, right? Because, uh, you know, MACD already crossed negative right here and price action could not stay above the uh, uh, 21 EMA. So what we said was like, you know, 10.595 going to be a temporary support. You see, it bounced back up to the year 2D21 and now getting rejected. I don't think market is strong enough for it to go back up to like a $12, $13, right? But next support going to be the high time frame trend line support, somewhere around like a 7, 8 to, a, you know, a 6, 5. Okay, these are not short, these are not day trading uh, setups, right? Sometimes they can take like a week to two weeks uh, to, uh, to basically get the proper directional move, okay? So easy, easy a setup for uh, for uh, near. Let's take a look at Luna. So Luna, Muna, Dumper. Okay. So Luna, we we nailed it, guys. So hopefully you guys watch our last few uh, uh, live streams and all that good stuff. On the three D, right? As long as we cross negative right here, that's what I said in my premium. Okay, Luna. 3d cross negative that's the same way we analyze it so all we've been doing is like repeating the same setups okay as long as we spotted it on it you know we said it are going to drop down to the monthly uh 21 ema right it did right back in december so as long as we saw the uh, lunar top formation right here i was like okay that's the same thing as the uh, uh you know ethereum setup okay temporary support right here as you can see it already dumped you know nearly 37 percent since we called for the for the move even if you didn't did not get in above the 3 d 21 you get in after you know it closed below the 3 d 21 you can see like right here you still got a 27 percent move if you recall back in december after btc closed below the 3 d 21 EMA, what we said pack our bags because we dumping down to 35 and btc was like somewhere around like a 55 okay so uh so similar setup, right? So uh, next support, right? Going to be uh, somewhere around like a, you know, mid 40s, okay, 48 to 44, okay? If we get a temporary support right here at the uh, 3D 100 EMA, that could just be a possible zigzag formation, flat correction, whatever wedge pattern uh, before the next leg down. Because what I'm looking at right now is like the uh, flat correction right here, okay? And you're not going to catch these moves, right, on an hourly basis, like 15, 15 minute charts, okay? You're not going to be catching, like, these macro double tops, double bottom on the 15 minutes. It's, there's no way you can catch these, okay? I don't care how good you are, right? You're most likely going to get uh, shaken out with these, uh, uh, you know, 10% moves like that, like that, okay? You're going to be shaken out, okay? You're going to be panicking. But if you understand something like, uh, you know, something very easy like your MACD is negative price action below your uh 21 ema right uh, the trend going to be down that's that's easy we we showed it we, we we basically shorted it right there again back in you know january right there in our premium at 86 and it dumped all the way down to uh, 43 and target was i think like a mid low 60s okay it broke below the low 60s and dumped all the way down to uh uh, you know to a low 40s. That's why I did not hesitate as long as I saw the same setup. That's the same exact setup. Okay That's the same exact setup. That's that's all we've been doing repeating the process 
you don't need to be fancy you don't need to do anything new do the same thing if it works don't change it don't change it okay don't change it and change it if it works no need to be learning like new stuff uh, you know it's not time to be learning it's time to be active and when market is slow you can you can basically try like a new stuff but if you've been doing like something uh, for the last uh, few uh, weeks or years right and it's working right no need to be uh, implementing like a new new strategies and all that good stuff keep it simple and keep it running keep it simple and keep it running that's it right so luna just to cut it short low 40 is going to be the uh, next uh, monthly uh, support if we get there this month great because we could uh, you know get some you know a possible three-way move or even a double top double bar right so don't be bearish on luna if we retest like the low 40s so next one going to be ftm so ftm we talk about it like since january okay uh, when it was creating the uh, top formation right here okay that was when late january okay so remember we talk about either first week of december okay and we talk about uh, you know uh, ftm you know i mean bnb the first week of january and we talk about what ftm the last week of january right and the first week of february and we we said it clearly guys even in my premium we said we're going to be dumping all the way down to these areas we could get a temporary support right here right and as soon as we pump back up to the uh, daily 21 i was like get out but it pumped back up to like uh, the uh, 3d 21 but i was just expecting the uh, 140 to 150 to be a resistance and it got rejected at uh, you know it got rejected by the uh, 3d 21 so the 3d 21 going to be what we will need to follow for a reversal it might not be a macro reversal but it could, it could just be like a wedge pattern reversal something like that before even a retest of the bottom and retest it and even retest like the 17 cents 10 cents we don't know i'm just speculating but as of now right on our 3d basis the trend is down right next support 50 to 55 okay if it bounces back up to a 73 69 going to be the resistance if it goes all the way up to one dollar it is still going to be a resistance okay basically we will just need to follow the 3d 21 as of now until we get a proper reversal all the moving averages on the 3d you know uh, they're crossing down now okay they're all negative so for ftm okay so ftm we got a round trip okay we you know we talk about it right here okay right actually right there okay november i wasn't even looking at the uh, usd chart i was looking at the uh, btc chart and the sucker was like uh, 50 100 sats and it dumped like 50 percent after btc broke above all-time high but you know we just stayed in we said let's just accumulate it till 50 sats bang after that you can see sucker pump like 240x whatever okay and we shorted it right here at the top okay and we weren't looking for the top we were just looking for a top formation okay so i did not talk about ftm right when ftm was right around like three dollars okay i just said get out it is a double top okay when it's time to short it right we will take care of business we were waiting for the proper setup like that okay a strong bear divergence okay okay so we will watch we will watch the uh, you know the uh, uh, bearishness on on our, our side most likely it will it will pump above it and that could be you know that could be our setup for the wedge pattern okay once we break out above it and dump it right here okay we could be looking for a nice move. I don't know when, when we're going to get it, but we will see. Okay. Could we get it from 50 cents? Could we get it from uh, uh, 25 cents? Possibly. If it dumps below the uh, trend line support right here, retest like 382, we can still retest the uh, 236 later on. You know, 236 Fibonacci, just about like a 55, 60 cents. That's possible. Okay. But uh, just avoid shorting it below, uh, uh, you know, below uh, 50 cents. Okay. Because anything could happen in this range since we got a macro uh, trend line support right so uh, I think that is it I'm gonna do some Q&A if you guys have any question regard regarding any alt link hey what's up Dexter thanks a lot for tuning in let's take a look at algo I know your moon boy let's take a look at algo USDT 
so algo usdt it is a support right uh, could not break above the three dollar resistance right here right so it is back down to a seventy dollars to a seventy dollars i'll go 73 70 cents to a 80 cents i'm thinking of uh ftn okay uh macd it is still positive so on the 3d it is not reversing yet okay it, i mean it is not a it is not continuing the uh, downtrend yet okay one once you get your uh, 3d macd to cross negative right here then you could be looking for the uh, you know 34 cents okay uh, which is at you know uh, 0.618 okay but as of now the uh, mid uh, mid uh, mid you know uh, 70s right uh, up to 80s it is still holding okay but I don't see a reversal yet. it is just a support uh, for probably a short-term trade like that okay 40% more but it is not a, a reversal if we retest like 34 35 you could still look for another 40 50 percent move back to like a 50 cent okay so just trade not financial advice but you can just trade the waves like that like that okay until we get a proper reversal okay however if macd uh, continues to the, to the upside right uh, you could just stay with the trend like that okay because it is a, a bullish divergence right here but the uh, bullish divergence right here might not be a reversal pattern that's why i keep saying just because you see a bullish divergence right doesn't mean the trend going to reverse it could just be a short term short term pullback to retest your resistance and bang and you can catch it right there okay at 35 cents to uh, uh you know on average 35 cents right it, it's it is most likely going to be there for like a few weeks before it bounces back up so you will get plenty of, plenty of time to uh, accumulate that sucker. Okay, uh, let's take a look at link. So link, it is a, uh, it is in total, uh, it is in a total uh, uh, downtrend. Okay. So uh, link BTC is down, link USD is down, link ETH is down. So link going, it is going going to take probably a few months right for it link to a uh, recover right to recovers over the next like a few uh, for for the best to recover over the, over the next like for the bulls to recover over the next like a few a uh, uh, few a uh, few months okay but i believe it will okay so trend line support right here we breaking it uh temporary support at 787 780 to a uh, you know $8 range that's going to be a temporary support and it is going to be at 382 so the most the, you know the most important one going to be somewhere around like a 450 okay i know it is deep right uh, but a bounce of uh, this range might not be once again a reversal setup okay it could bounce back up to like even 16 dollars which is uh, the uh, previous uh, uh, fibonacci right however if it breaks it you know we could get a bounce from four dollars to like an eight dollar range okay so we will get some bounces it's just like you know our bulls going to be patient enough to accumulate these macro supports right you know uh, 780 right 790 and then basically four dollars right and you take a look at it in terms of percentage it is, it is a big move also right a 40 percent move so you're not you're not going to be accumulating like every five percent you don't want to be accumulating these coins in a downtrend right macro downtrend you don't want to accumulate every five percent you want to accumulate every you know at least at least 40 to 45 percent okay but 50 percent in general is good okay but if you if you, you know you know but you know at the same time you don't want to wait for these coins to hit the bottom for you to say okay uh that's the bottom because you don't know when they're going to bottom up the bottom going to be a bottom formation so since like it is a formation you don't know okay for instance link the bottom formation could be right here but you just don't know right it going it is going to retest it right create a bullish divergence something like that right push to the upside and then you're gonna be like okay that was the bottom formation so it's less time it is time to go that's why you just have to accumulate you know at these macro levels right and just wait right for the next bull run okay if you're short-term trading that's it is a different story okay but if you're looking for a swing, I mean, it is still a nice swing uh, from 4 450 
to uh, you know seven ninety eight dollars or from uh, you know seven ninety up to basically sixteen dollars it is still it doesn't matter both of them are going to be pretty uh, pretty good swings okay just said in the house hey son if BTC were to drop below 28k want that break the market structure I mean <laughs> because you, you just have to define your time frame also when you talk about like market structure because your your one second chart right breaking breaking like a uh, 28 8 right on the one second chart I'm just giving you guys an example right might not be relevant on the quarterly basis if you say okay if BTC breaks below uh, you know 28 8 on a quarterly basis that could be that, that could be pretty significant okay but as i said you know even though you're breaking the market structure you're still following the macro supports okay meaning like uh, your macro support which is uh, your quarterly twenty right here we broke below we broke the market structure and we tested what the uh, quarterly 21 right here we broke market structure on a lower degree and we tested what quarterly 21 so your market structure might not be the same as my view for a market structure okay yes you could be like okay we brought the uh, sideways correction but who cares right here back in you know 2018 6k area right let's take a look at it right here on a monthly right here we broke market structure okay long long term sideways correction right nearly you know one year sideways correction and a dump it broke broke the market structure everybody was looking for one thousand dollar it pumped to 14k that's a 14x difference you're looking for one thousand and sucker pump to 14 okay 14k right so uh, but let, let let's see okay the lowest i think we're going to retest if you know bc going to dump hard going to be probably the uh, you know a quarterly tournament could we dump lower on a lower degree yes it could dump down to 20k but closing below the quarterly 21 that's what i'm saying it might it could be impossible okay i wouldn't say impossible but could be hard right so if you buy btc for the uh, on the hourly basis yes you, you know you want to wait for 20k and all that good stuff but if you buy buying btc for the next like a, a bull run right you know 180 200k 300k i don't think it is wise to be like waiting for like a 20k exactly unless you want to lower your position right down and just let it let the market eat it right and you just suck it up send it to the ledger wait for the 2025 20 2024 20, 2025 pick right all right xrp let's take a look at xrp xrp uh, it is in a uh, top formation right descending triangle so xrp just like btc let's let's just analyze xrp on a, on a monthly basis just like btc uh, you know if if you've been following send crypto long enough I, I kept saying it you know how important the monthly 21 ema is you know for xrp i talk about it right here you know back in 20 uh, uh 20 uh, actually 2019 right i was talking about the xrp and the uh, monthly 21 ema as long as we below the uh, monthly 21 ema xrp is going to be in a bear market i said it right here until we close above the uh, monthly 21 right here if you recall at 24 cents 25 cents just above the uh, weekly 21 I, I think the weekly 21 was right around like the uh, 24 25 i was like accumulate in our premium group and we pump all the way up to like a 80 cents okay it dumped back down to uh, 17 cents we said accumulate right here okay right here we you know we were calling for two dollars xrp but as of now right it is a descending triangle it doesn't matter how much you, you love xrp it is a descending triangle on a monthly basis it doesn't matter right even on a weekly basis it is going to be a descending triangle triangle okay triangle and if you do the major move right that way right the major move could be you know somewhere around let's say uh, 21 cents okay right there actually even 17 okay if i <laughs> let's not cheat okay <laughs> i love xrp but i can cheat on this one the the major move is calling for like a 14 15 cents 
okay that's a major move it doesn't mean it will retest it it will retest it because we got some fibonacci which is uh, what i'm uh, we got a fibonacci support which is uh, what i'm looking for right here okay uh you know 50 percent pullback going to be at 45 cents uh 0.618 which is the most important right they're going to be you know 31 cents that's going to be the range we could be looking for a potential bounce back up to like a 55 to retest that resistance right there okay and we will see if uh, 0 0.618 will hold if it holds we could be looking for a reversal if not we could be looking for the entire major move okay but pay attention to xrp on a higher time frame okay it doesn't move every day that's why i don't talk about it okay it doesn't move like luna or you know like a you know dogecoin or bnb or stuff like that it's not that volatile and i don't want to be stuck with it right talking about it every day and it's not doing anything right it's not it's not volatile enough in the short term okay but we will discuss it if we uh, w once we start like to uh, break out below the uh, uh, descending triangle descending triangle formation okay quiet cook thanks a lot for tuning in cooking some eater and some xrp in the kitchen yeah guys i mean i mean if 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 you if you've been following uh, uh if you've been following closely our our channel you know you you uh you know he even to the upside okay even you know back in 2020 uh you know may 2020 when i was talking about all these alt you know they were pretty cheap in bdc you know we were talking about all these alt they, they pumped like three four x between may 20 uh, may 2020 to august 2020 right before they dump like till you know let's say november 2020 and then they pick back up like november december uh, 2020 until basically 2021 if you've been following our channel you know we've been nailing all these macro uh, macro uh, directional move we're not shy right to say hey we're going to dump we're not here to basically please anyone if market going to uh, market is showing like a reversal pattern we're just going to suck it up i like xrp yes i don't want xrp to dump but we just have to uh, call it as it is if we see opportunities to uh, buy cheaper we're like okay we're going to accumulate later okay we're going to accumulate it again in in usd and in bdc let's take a look at xrp bdc okay it is still struggling to uh, break above the monthly 21 at the same time right so uh, so even though monthly is uh, still uh, pushing high uh, you just don't know if you're going to get a bullish divergence, which is, which could be pretty, pretty bad if, if it does something like that. I don't, I'm not saying it will. It is just something like, you know, I wanted to throw out there. Okay. But it doesn't mean you're going to sell your long-term XRP. Okay. Uh, you, you know, your, uh, you know, five to 10 years hold, you don't want to be selling it at these lows. Okay. But let's see, we, we, you know, at the same time, we got a macro, uh, you know, macro uh, triangular formation right here. We're most likely going to break out to the upside. And if we do, the major move right here going to be pretty juicy. Going to be pretty juicy. You can see XRP all the way up to like nearly 45,000, okay? 45,000 sats. Okay, that's that's going to be the major move. That's like a 30x in BTC if we, you know, ever break out above this range. Assuming like we would break out above this range, you know, at the apex, right? I'm just speculating, right? So let's say it does something like that and break out to the upside. Whoa, Jude will love it. Okay, it's it's possible. We we seen it on Dodge Point. Let's take a look at Dodge BTC. Let's take a look at it on dot right take a look at it right here macro reaccumulation and don't tell me you're comparing dodge with bdc right i mean with xrp i'm pretty sure xrp is much much better take a look at it bang bang okay bang okay i think xrp will do something like that so but it is going to be like you know in month i don't think we will do it in 2020 uh 2022 maybe 2023 that's possible 
it from around the uh, BTC bull market of 20 or 25. But if it does something like that, you, you know, you just have to, uh, you just have to get out of XRP or at least take some profits, whatever. Yeah, if it does something like that and hit like a uh, 45,000, 50,000 sats, you don't want to sit on it heavy. You got to go back to BTC because it is likely to uh, cool off for like a few years again. Okay. That's why I keep telling you with all these alt like FTM, BTC, I was telling you, you know, uh, it, it looks good, right? It looks good when you take a look at it and you want to wait for another 100x, but it doesn't work like that against BTC. Once they pump like those 100x, 200x, you know, uh, whatever, right? Against BTC, they could dump like for two to three years or even four years till the next bull market. It could dump all the way back down here. All right, so that's what I'm saying. You got to secure some profits into BTC. And MACD is crossing negative right here. Okay, price action is below the 21 EMA, and you know what that means. Okay, you know what that means. Okay, it means like a downtrend, macro downtrend. Okay, but we will see. Okay, we got like a few more months to uh, confirm the uh, downtrend. Where are the bulls? Hey, what's up, Andriano? Hey, what's up, Pablo? SHA. SHA is the first uh, the first swap on VeChain. Okay, that's great. Uh, Dexter, what did Dexter said? Oh, uh, Dexter. I'll go. Uh, we talk about algo we talk about xrp cns cns must be getting wrecked let's take a look at cns so cns it is below support right so that's not good that's not good okay it is below support just have to wait until it, uh, it recovers okay so, uh, right now it is at six thousand something like that pretty pretty uh, pretty low okay uh, so xtz So XTZ, uh, the blue box right here going to be the, uh, uh, you know, 50% to 0.618. You're looking at like 160, 150 down to like a $1 range on average 125. And uh, the bad thing, the bad news uh, for uh, Tezos is like uh, MACD right here, it is crossing down. That's, that's the only bad news I can find, right? MACD crossing down right there. And um, you know, price action is below the uh, 21 EMA. Okay, so we did have a nice hidden bull divergence, right? But uh, it seems like it is fading away. Let's take a look at it on the weekly. Yeah, on the weekly, we you know we had a nice hidden bull divergence right here, but the flat correction is messing up everything. That flat correction right here is messing up everything. But we still above the uh, 382. Okay, so but if we dump, we could be going back to the uh, March 20 or 20 lows, right? And break the uh, uh, macro trend line support right there. Already broken, but let's see, okay? So yeah, so on the monthly basis, the trend is down. It doesn't mean like on a day-to-day -day basis, we won't get like 20, 15, 20, or even 30% breakout. But all I'm saying is you just have to keep an eye on the uh, macro level. Otherwise, whenever BTC pumps like 3%, alt will pump, was, let's say, 25%. And uh, I'm just exaggerating. Let's say 
and everyone will be calling for a reversal just check send okay we will basically go bull whenever we see a bullish reversal pattern okay what we need to watch our macd for btc on a 3d basis to spot the uh, macro trend reversal right let's take a look, take a look at it beautiful the 4d just crossed negative too right the 5d could cross negative like but oh just cross negative i was looking at it yesterday it wasn't so so on the we got the 3d negative right 3d 2d negative 3d 4d 5d they're all negative okay so we will need to watch our 3d time frame to spot the uh, you know midterm reversal okay and later on watch our weekly right and later on watch our three weeks and later on watch our monthly once we get a complete monthly reversal we know the trend going to be up okay but 3d so sometimes the daily time frame can only give you like can only give you like daily reversal that's it maybe two three days later on or maximum a two to three weeks you back down okay but a beautiful 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 setup guys beautiful okay we nailed it right here 41 down to 22 you know 3150 down to 30 you know 3150 down to 2380 right uh, you know gas topped out right here between 2550 to 28 Six twenty-eight sixty-six, right and re-enter right here so we've been nailing ether like crazily right here take a look at that was like a 50 percent move nearly you got another 26 percent move and as of now we got a nice nearly 20 percent move on it and only got kicked out for a let's say 300 points to you know 300 points something like that 2550 to 2866 just about 10% okay 10% okay and the move we're getting right now is nearly you know already like you know nearly 20% so you got 40% 25% 26% on ETA in like less than five months since like December all right less than five months you know that's that's pretty big okay it's hard to get like you know 40% 25% 40% dump on ETA right and you're not talking about like the reversal buying right here going back up to the top rebind right here and going back up to the top we're just talking about the uh, downtrend okay so we've been killing it so if you want to join the uh, premium group right uh, check it out the link in the description and all that good stuff right so icp btc it is still uh, It is still uh, it is still down okay uh, ICP okay so ICP BTC next support at 23,000 to a 25,000 which is nothing but you know uh, just about like a 50% right from the uh, you know December lows that's why I keep saying you got to accumulate this alt every 50% not every every 5% ICX BTC We should be close to a uh, 1400 sat support support right yeah even if you take a look at it on kraken it is just a macro reaccumulation so uh, got to accumulate right here i know uh, market is down right but it could respect the uh, uh, macro uh, downtrend it is still a good hold okay if you remember back in 2019 icx was one of the first coin to pump like nearly you know 5x 6x against btc okay it could be the first coin to pump you know 10 20x against btc in 2023 so uh, that's why it is good to uh, still uh, pay attention to uh, icx yep it is still it is still a support okay if we break below the uh, you know if we break below uh, 1200 sats 
I wouldn't mess with it right until we hit like 600 sats okay just accumulate BTC and let it let it, let it do its work right until we basically go back up just like phantom I showed you a phantom not phantom but phantasma phantasma remember as not as not you guys uh, phantasma let's take it soul BTC Okay, take a look at it right here. As someone showed 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 me a showed me a uh, you know phantasma. I was like, that's it looks fantastic. And I think phantasma was right here. I think that I, right here. I can't I can't remember exactly. I think that was back in uh, back in August or back in uh, you know before the breakout actually, right? September or either October. I was like, it is a macro reaccumulation. So. If you bought the dips in between this right in this range, you just have to suck it up because you know we're going to be pushing higher. I, I don't know. I don't know. Twenty four hours is 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 a very short term time frame to uh, to mess with, right? Unless you already uh, already uh, in a trade, right? But let's see. Uh, we're not even yet above the uh, six hour 21 so I don't know if we're gonna be able to get above uh, 30 you know 3650 anything can happen okay I'm not saying it cannot go to 36 or whatever right I hope not because you know I'm bearish right so uh, we need to take a look at it on us hey by the way uh haven't talked about the uh, wedges right in my public live stream but don't 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 sleep on BTC creating this wedge that's what I'm saying you can't sleep on BTC or at 30k the 30k is still a wedge support it can still do this okay so that's what I'm saying have to basically stop shorting BTC below 34 start accumulating it right I mentioned it in my premium you know 30k it is a strong support I know it sounds crazy, but can't can't be shorting. Okay, got to close all shorts, or at least take good profits and uh, watch the market do the work right and accumulate BTC. Because if we get this wedge pattern, we could repeat the same process. We repeat the same process, right? We did back in 2019. Most of you guys don't remember what happened back in 2019, so you might not understand what I'm saying. But just be cautious, because the way that 40% that 40 percent breakout okay uh happened to uh, take place at the uh, weekly 100 ema and we just above we just below the uh, weekly 100 ema again okay that's why i'm just saying don't short btc below 35 34 i know it is a it is way above 30k but if you remember what happened right here guys if you didn't get wrecked right there you might not know what's going on <laughs> so you have to be cautious okay you can get everything right at the end you get right that's what happened right here we showed it basically from 10.5 down to like a 73 uh, right and we were like okay we're gonna show it from 73 down to 69 and we're gonna flip long and all that good stuff bang you just w w wake up and you're gonna see BTC 40 percent up <laughs> so uh, but going back to your question right i mean jude can tell you what happened back then Jude was like saying, man, I, I'm giving up. This sucker just pumped 40%, man. I was like, Jude, you can't give up, man. All right. So 36.5, right? 36.5, it, it is about the uh, uh, six hour tournament. Can it, can it do it? Yes. It, it, if it is going to do it, it might do it fast. Like a, you know, 7% pump, something like that. Right yes it, it can do it right it can it, it can do it but macd is not pointing up right right here it's pointing strongly down rsi is pointing strongly down it is going to be pretty hard to do it but it can okay it can we back down to the uh, february lows right remember back in february it, it basically just uh, reverse like in uh, 24 hours okay after the uh, ukraine invasion 
so it took like two and a half month to get back to a support so James, thanks a lot for the for the tip man i'm gonna buy some xrp with it <laughs> hey what's up jerome uh, <laughs> You'll be all right, Jerome. All right, guys, I'm just going to cut it short. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Make sure to uh, join the uh, public Telegram group. Link in the description. If you're looking to join the premium group, link in the description for the uh, uh, BDC macro analysis and uh, and all that good stuff. You know, BNB, Ethereum, Solana, all, all the uh, top coins, uh, FTM and all that good stuff, uh, AVAX, you know, Zen, uh, Dogecoin, XRP okay all of them all right not just not just BTC so uh, you can see how we basically uh, trade the uh, macro view uh, being very patient uh, those uh, you know 50% 60% move uh, short to medium term you got to be very cautious and, pa and patient at the same time uh, once once you define the direction all you need to do is just stay with the trend uh, the uh, scalping short term trading 1% 2% out there Sometimes it's very stressful. Most of you guys already know and most of you guys will agree with that, right? But staying with a trend for a 40-50% move, remember on the downside, it is hard to get like even 20% on BTC. It's very hard. You're not going to get 20% BTC every month. That's why back in January, actually February or March, I was saying like I don't think BTC will dump down to like a 24K because, uh, you know, between December till March, we dump like nearly 10K every month. That was a lot so we needed to slow down so it is hard to get like 20 percent dump on btc but if you're expecting a 40 percent directional move in one in one go like meaning like from uh, you know let's say uh, 44k all the way down to a 24k it worth waiting for like even like a month or even a month and a half it worth it okay because remember a 40 percent move to the downside is probably equal to like let's say 150 percent to the upside something like that okay i'm just uh, estimating right so uh, it's easier to pump than to dump so so that's why once you once you get the uh, directional move you just have to stay with it that's why i keep analyzing btc on a macro scale over the last few months keep telling you guys the directional move is down the directional move is down monthly 21 monthly 50. we've been talking about it over the last few months over the last four months five months okay monthly 21 monthly 50 quarterly 21 okay we've been repeating it over and over again right so even if you don't know what's a monthly 21 you might go and say hey i'm gonna check what's a monthly 21 okay what's a, what's a weekly you know what's what's a monthly 50 let me wait for those macro supports because i know i can get at least a 40 percent i mean not at least but 25 percent up to even 50 percent move you know once we retest those levels okay that's what happened right here right you know btc pump like 45 percent okay from the 35 support okay 33 support whatever right so uh, stay with the macro view guys don't don't uh don't basically uh worry about too much about the one second chart and all that good stuff all right guys thanks a lot for watching let's take a look at sha Okay, so sure it is still getting shut down. Okay, on a macro view, uh, it is not yet at the uh, you know January lows 2021. So you still got pretty good chance, right, to retest the uh, uh, retest the uh, uh, you know macro support. Okay, uh, you know it could create this uh, double top right here, but I don't see any, I don't see anything crazy. Okay, it is just a macro double top. Which is going to be a good level to uh, reaccumulate for bulls, right? Nothing crazy, okay? Nothing crazy for it. Both SHA and uh, and OCX. Jerome, I'm doing fine, man. Yeah, K A K A O S F R. Thanks a lot for tuning in. 
basically saying long-term investment i mean if you're buying bdc for the next five years you shouldn't worry too much okay you shouldn't worry too much about it uh, uh you know bdc being uh even down to 20k okay uh, as i said if you're buying at the bottom make sure you know anything you're buying within like 100 percent uh above the bottom is good so if you're estimating like bdc bottom going to be 20k even up to 40k it is a good buy you see what i'm saying so if you're estimating like bdc bottom going to be 10k you be like okay I, i'm stuck it up 20k you know it's good enough i wouldn't care about the the rest the the reason for that is like when bdc was at you know uh you know 6k right and if someone told you like bdc going to pump to 60k but we got a probability of retesting you know possibility of retesting 3k you be like i don't care i'm just gonna make sure i get in at 6k okay i don't care about the 3k because it, it is just a possibility or you know a small probability right so that's the same thing right here if you're expecting btc to uh, retest 10k the probability of retesting it or the possibility of even retesting uh, 10k is very low it's not you know it could be possible but the probability is very very low okay so that's why i keep saying whenever you buy btc at the monthly 21 you should not mess with it you buy it at the 50 ema on a monthly you should not mess with it until we pump at least 5 to 10x above you know the uh, you know previous monthly 21 ema support okay a 5x from the uh, previous monthly 21 ema support right here actually which is current right going to be going to be somewhere around like 180 okay which is our macro directional target makes sense and we've been talking about 180 before even we got the support right here okay you take a look at it right here right from this point of 6k to that point you got 10x okay so think about the uh, long-term view the short-term volatility is just going to drive you you know crazy if you're not shorting the market okay but if you're shorting the market you're laughing you're laughing okay all right guys thanks a lot for watching Pablo S. Crypto.